In a previous Medical Minute, I debunked the concerns that higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids in our bodies could potentially increase the risk of developing high-grade prostate cancer. It seems that when a negative study like this gets all this media attention, it just does not pay attention to the positive studies that involve omega-3 supplementation. I was struck by the number of positive studies I've seen just in the past month or two on omega-3 supplementation and wanted to share just some thoughts with you. First of all, I have shared in previous Medical Minutes about the fact that a study in the Annals of Internal Medicine showed that supplementing omega-3 fatty acids lowered your risk of having a heart attack twice as much as did Lipitor, which is a very popular statin drug. I also shared in another Medical Minute that supplementation with omega-3 had a very positive anti-aging effect. In the April 2, 2013 issue of the Annals of Internal Medicine reported a study that added even more evidence of the anti-aging effect of omega-3 fatty acids. In this study, they followed nearly 3,000 men and women over the ages of 74 for 16 years. Those individuals who had the highest levels of omega-3 fatty acids in their bloodstream had a 27% lower risk of dying from all causes compared to those who had the lowest levels of omega-3 fatty acids. Another study that appeared in the March 2013 issue of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition demonstrated that higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids through diet or supplementation help prevent skin cancers. Sunlight exposure has been shown to suppress skin immunity and increase the risk of developing skin cancers. However, this study demonstrated that omega-3 fatty acids actually increases this skin immunity, which has the potential to protect against skin cancer. A study reported in September 11, 2013 issue of Diabetes Care followed over 2,000 men for nearly 20 years. Those men that had the highest levels of omega-3 fatty acids when compared to those who had the lowest decreased their risk of developing diabetes by over 30%. Essentially, fatty acids are just that. They are essential to the body for optimal health. The body cannot make these fatty acids, therefore you must get these fatty acids from your diet. The two main essential fatty acids are omega-6 and omega-3. Omega-6 fatty acids are key in the production of our body's natural inflammatory products. Omega-3 fatty acids are key in the production of our body's natural anti-inflammatory products. Now it is crucial for optimal health that we consume these two fatty acids in approximately the same amount, or in other words, a one-to-one -one ratio. Since our bodies need to be able to produce both inflammatory and anti-inflammatory products. The problem is that in the Western diet, studies show that we are consuming omega-6 fatty acids in a ratio of approximately 30 to 1 because omega-6 fatty acids are present in high amounts in meats, dairy products, and processed foods. We get omega-3 fatty acids primarily in nuts, cold water fish, flaxseed, and some other vegetable oils. Simply put, our bodies just have too much inflammation because of this imbalance. In order to bring these two essential fats back into a proper balance, we need to decrease our intake of red meat, dairy products, and processed foods, while at the same time actually increasing our intake of cold water fish, nuts, and healthy vegetable oils. However, this is usually not enough to bring these essential fats back into a healthy balance. Therefore, I am recommending to all my patients that they supplement their diet with high quality, toxic-free fish oil supplements.